Hi guys, my name is Sylvia and I have just recently finished taking the machine learning nano degree course from Udacity. Ever since taking the course, I have many friends and colleagues asking about my experience um, regarding the course, whether or not if this is a course that would suit them as well, if the course would actually help them find a job in real life after completion, if this is a course that is suitable for beginner who never code or has just a little bit of coding experience but not much or just someone even just finished right out of college. So I figured I would just do a video review of my experience regarding this nano degree. So let me just start with a little bit of background about myself. I'm a recent graduate from Georgia Tech with a bachelor degree of computer science. The last courses that I took related to machine learning before graduate would be the natural language processing course, abbreviated as NLP. So I would say that I have a pretty um, I want to say deep fundamental, but at least a service knowledge of about machine learning by the time that I graduate. I personally really enjoyed the course, um, but the course is moving a little bit too fast for me to catch up. Um, and that's kind of one of the main reasons why I want to take this nano degree, because I want a course that could kind of reinforce the learning material that I learned um, from NLP, but in the meantime, learning some new material. So ever since that I graduated, I had became a full-time software engineer at one of the Fortune 500 company. And one of the things that our company does is that they encourage employees to kind of go back to school and um, kind of reinforce their I guess improve their learning skill on top of just working for the company. And Udacity is um, one of the things that they offer where they collaborate with Udacity. So I was able to take the nano degree course for free because the company paid for it. Um, and one of the things that I really like about Udacity is that it is also in a collaboration with Georgia Tech, which is the school that I graduated from. Now. By the time that I started working, I do have, I did have the intention of continue my education, but I'm not sure if doing a master on top of working full time would be too much um, for me at that time. So I decided that I would start with an annual degree to see if the workload is a little bit too much for me on top of working full time. And if not, then I can eventually move on doing a master in computer science while doing um, full time. So I took the course beginning back in July 2017 and by the time that I started, I believe Udacity said the course would almost took you a year to complete. Um, now I don't think it would take that long at all. My expected finish date would be December 2017 but of course now that I'm filming it, it's already April 2018 so it has already been 10 months. Um, now, of course, I procrastinated a lot and I was being lazy. If you could put in like a minimum of 10 hours per week, I guarantee that you could finish the whole nano degree in less than six months. I know people online that they say they could complete the whole nano degree in like one or two months. So it really depends on how, many how much dedication you put in it and just commit it to it. Don't procrastinate it like me. Um, because if you do it like me, which take 10 months, a lot of the material, like the early material that you learn early on in the nano degree might be forgotten by you by the time that you're ready to move into your capstone project. So that might not be so ideal. Now the machine learning nano degree course on Udacity is breaking up basically into five main topics. And within each completion of topics, you have to complete a project to basically show that you had learned the material pretty well. And it's a nice way because you could see what you learned being put into code and being used in real world scenario. So the course begin with simple stuff like decision tree and um, it moves slowly towards supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and then eventual reinforcement learning and deep learning. Um, and then after you complete all five projects and the five topics, obviously, you'll be moving into the capstone project. 
So the capstone project is um, essentially a graduation project where you have to take um, what you've learned in all the five topics together. You don't have to combine them, but I mean they will be related. You have to pick like one topic and just kind of think about what you're interested in, um, gather the data and topic, put them into a detailed proposal, um, which is three pages long as required and you have to write it up and submit it for the Udacity reviewer to review be, and to review and before that they say yes that your proposal is good to go you can't really go start your capstone so you can't just you know do whatever and turn in a piece of crap and call that your graduation project essentially now on top of the five main projects there's many um kind of test project, mini project that uh, kind of just there throughout the courses and you have the options of doing them or not doing them. I personally did them all because I find it helpful for you to see if you really understand the course material before you could um, move on. Um, personally, two of the favorite project um, in this NEM degree is um, one, the self-driving cab which is basically a cab that you have to train um, for it to learn um, based on reinforcement learning on the reward to take the correct approach um, at each stop whether it should go straight turn left turn right without avoiding accident while getting into the destination on time and another project that I really like is the last project um, that has to deal with deep learning which is identifying um, different dog breeds based on um, by providing a dog picture so um, it's pretty interesting because it's correctly classified my dog is Pomeranian but something that interesting that it could do is it could also classify human uh, into a dog breed it will tell that you you are human but it will tell you which dog breeds most reassembling which dog breeds most resembling you and for me my result is bagel did I pronounce that right? B-E-A-G-L-E? -E. Anyway, I don't know which part of that looked like that breeds of dog. I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> now, regarding the um, intensity level of the course, I personally find the course material um, fairly easy. The project are fairly easy to complete. I don't find the project to be very code intensive. And now I'm, I'm comparing that to my experience of taking the NLP back at Georgia Tech, which I think the level of intensity are really nothing to compare with because back in Georgia Tech, we're not allowed to use any library. Like we can't use Keras, we don't have TensorFlow, we don't have anything like that. We have to literally write everything in scratch. So if you have a loss function, um, you have to write your loss function yourself, you, you have to write your gradient descent yourself. Well, in the nano degree, you don't have to do any of that because all of them are already imported as part of the CARES library, the API. So you could just use that and I guess it's, it's, it's really a high level thing. You don't, you could easily pass the course without learning the fundamental, the really deep down math involves although those maps are being taught throughout the course but they're not something that's required for you to pass the course and i think that is pretty nice because in real world in reality nobody's gonna hire you um to do you know machine learning and they expect you to write your own loss function from scratch your own gradient descent function from scratch um, you are essentially going to do what you did in the course using a Keras library, um, in, you know, using a TensorFlow backend. So I find the code, although easy, they are pretty um, resembling what you would do in a real world workforce environment. Now, um, although the coding is fairly easy, if you are someone who never coded before, I, I would definitely not recommend this course. Obviously, you have to come into the course with... I would say at least a pretty fundamental knowledge about coding 
especially in Python, so you need to know all the, you know, like how to write a function, all the loops, uh, variables, you know, all the basic stuff about coding. So if you never code before, this is, this is really not something for you. You should go in and take like an intro to Python course and be comfortable with coding before taking this course. It now, if you are just new to machine learning, like you have never approached machine learning before, you don't even know what a decision tree is, um, you don't know test data versus training data, validation data, stuff like that, then this nano degree is very nice um, for you to grab an introduction of knowledge about machine learning and to get your feet wet, to get you started. Mm. If you are like me who has um, you know, some knowledge and some background, not too deep um, knowledge in machine learning, this nano degree is also a very nice way for you to um, kind of reinforce your knowledge, to um, help you update your resume by completing several projects so you could talk about it during interview or just put them on your resume and talk about them to your team. Maybe in the future when you have a similar project, those projects will really be helpful um, for you to have some code to look up to. Now I forgot about the exact pricing of the nano degree by the time that I was enrolled into it. But before filming this video, when I check, it is $999 for the full courses. And I noticed that it only have one option now because when I enroll, they have two options. One is just the standard course, which you take the course and um, you know do the project and everything. And another one is the course plus, I think it's called nano degree plus, which is basically um, the same as the regular nano degree you would take, but they guarantee you with a job after upon completion within a certain deadline. Now, personally, do I think that um, by completing this nano degree and this nano degree alone will help you actually land a job in the real world? My answer would be no, I don't think so because I think the knowledge you gain for this nano degree, um, it does give you a nice fundamental, um, like a nice kind of background to get into the field, but they are not very solid idea, at least, at least I don't think that you gain enough knowledge in the field for you to get hired um, as someone to do solely machine learning, you know. Um, but it would definitely be something nice for you to build on top of your resume if you already, you know, like have other skill. It would definitely be a very nice thing to look on your resume, just another skill kind of add on and stuff like that. Um, but if I'm a company and that is the only thing that you have ever completed, the nano degree, I'm probably not going to hire you. I might hire you for an internship, but not as a full-time software engineer. Now, the nice thing about Udacity is that you could essentially go through the whole nano degree and take the course for free without actually paying for it. Um, while the course material and the project, they're available in GitHub, they're available on Udacity. So what you're paying for is really a mentor to grade your project, to give you a detailed feedback about how you did on each of your projects. And if you're ever stuck, you could kind of chat to them and they will reply back in a fairly timely manner. You could also have, um, I believe, one-to-one -one kind of tutoring and they limit you to like two twice per month i never used it but i know that those are available and um they also have ta office hour but last time i checked they are they own, they only have like one hour of ta office hour per week i also never used that service before so i'm not i'm not sure how they handle it like given that they have so many students enrolled in the course but they only have one hours per week so they might kind of you definitely might need to, you know, reconsider adding more TA office hour because people might have, you know, school or they have a job during those time and it's just not the most convenient thing ever. Um, one more thing that you're paying for is the access to the form of Udacity. And the form, I don't really find it very helpful because it's not like a form only um, target toward your nano degree that you're taking. It, it's like a form across all the people taking nano degree. 
and it's just like a pile of questions thrown in there. And I remember when I was stuck while taking um, the reinforcement learning module, I have a question regarding um, I believe installation of software or something. I'm not I'm not really exactly sure. Anyway, I was stuck and I, I tried to go in the forum and find a solution, but I didn't really find a solution to my question. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who had that question while taking their um, nano degrees. So I personally don't really find it very helpful. And even if you post your answer there, you probably need to wait two, three days um, before you get a feedback, which means you probably have to stuck there for two, three days without progressing. You know, if, if, if you're doing it on a daily basis, which could kind of be slow. So um, would I personally pay for an nano degree? No, because I think $1,000 is still fairly pricey for the service that they provided, mainly because the courses and project are available for you for free anyway. Um, now, if you're someone who really don't have a lot of motivation on completing the nano degree, or you're someone who is really lacking in experience in terms of coding or on the subject and you know that you will need additional help then it might be for you but for someone who already has a pretty strong background in coding or is pretty confident about taking a nano degree and has a certain level of self-motivation um the paying for the nano degree might not really be required um, now, of course, um, if you do pay for the nano degree, upon completion, you will get a certificate, um, like an official certificate um, to prove that you completed a nano degree, which is not available if you just take the course and not pay for it. <laughs> now, regarding um, what you could do after finish taking a nano degree, if you want to proceed further, um, one thing that I found is while you're taking a nano degree, they would recommend you to go to the Amazon Web Services to you know, register an instance to boost your computer GPU to train your, um, to train your model because your computer does not have enough power. But I found that you could actually do the same on Google Collab, which um, is now available and they are handing out free GPU. So you could use that to train instead of the Amazon Cloud Services. Um, so you don't have to pay and it's free. And um, also, you could go to websites such as Kaggle, um, which hosts kind of like competition um, for machine learning. I'm new to it, so I still have to kind of dive into it. But as far as what I could tell, they provide numerous data and topic about um, different machine learning related topic that you could apply your knowledge on and kind of just put them into tests on real world kind of real world type of um, test that you expected to see and they are also pretty nice um, project to complete um, for you to put on your resume. So if you have any question regarding the you know, degree, just leave your question in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your question. So um, have a nice day and I hope that you will take the nano degree too after watching this video. <laughs> and hopefully this video is helpful to you.